Hello fierce loves, welcome to my fourth Sephora unboxing from my online orders from Sephora online store here in Sweden. I hope you like it. Yes, and then so here is the box. And then we pull it from here. And if you have seen my first three Sephora unboxing, you know that the Sephora box looks like so. With the Sephora Iconic logo, with the black and white stripes, and inside it is a paper bag. I wish it's a bubble wrap, but they put it in a paper bag. And this one will hold the items that I purchased. Okay, so I'm going to grab them one by one. And the uh, first item in here is this one. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this one. And this is the Guerlain Paris Lit Essential. And I have it in 03W or Natural Warm for short. There, that's better. Oh my god, here is the English part. Really? Okay, let's consider the first one, Butcher. Guerlain Paris Lit Essential Natural Glow Foundation 16-Hour Wear SPF 20 Hydrates and protects from pollution. There you go. Much easier. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to open it and I'm going to show it to you. This is how it looks inside. And then um, instructions on how to open it. Oh, it's super, it looks like an unboxing a perfume bottle. <laughs> there. Oh, and this is... The item and initially off the bat we see the girl and logo and here she is oh my gosh it's so pretty this is a very innovative uh, packaging so unique and it's glass and has weight to it and girl and is really good about their packaging it's very luxurious and this is no exception so it's like 70% uh, of natural ingredients. Hmm, yeah. Let's see. I'm going to try this on today. So this next item is the Dior Backstage Glow Palette or Glow Face Palette. So it says Professional Performance Pure Shimmer Blendable Highlight and Blush. It's 10 grams, net weight 0.35 ons. And that's the side of it, www.dior.com. Other side has some ingredients. The top has the Air Backstage Glow and it's um, shade, which is the 001 Universal. Have barcode at the bottom and at the back, we have the shades here. Strobe White, Strobe Gold, Blush Pink, and Blush Bronze. Yes, and it gives us a little bit of details on how to use this one or to apply. And let's go ahead and open this. And it's this one. Ta-da! It's very, very pretty. It's not as heavy as what everybody could wish it is. Um, and it doesn't have a mirror, which would have been very, very good. But I get the design. They want us to see those uh, Dior that were um, embossed in there on the pants. And then this Dior logo over here at the back is just like so. And here are the items. I'm going to try to use this on a video later um, or at least swatch them because I have another palette that I'm going to be needing to unbox and yeah okay so there that's that here is another Guerlain item and it is my first ever Guerlain Paris Meteorites compact and it's in four golden or I think it's also the other word was like Ponce, if I'm not mistaken. So, let's open this. So, this is 8 grams. It says there. Uh, 
Aha, it did not come with the usable sleeve that Guerlain also gives out, but it's still very, very pretty. I like this engraved, very artistic palette in here. But it's very, very reflective. And there's a Guerlain logo over there, and the Guerlain logo in the middle. At least it's a little bit weighty, but it's still plastic. So we have meteorites at the back. There we go. And then, let's see how, oh, it's magnetic. <laughs> and this is, oh, this is so beautiful. Oh my gosh. So you see meteorites over here. So we have this um, four shades. We have something that we could actually go ahead and use as blush. This is probably, I'm not sure if it's a highlight, but I will go ahead and try and swatch. This is, of course, a yellowish powder. And this could be like a, a bronzer also but mix all together you can just use it as a setting powder so yeah that's that and I really like that it has a mirror over there and let's talk about this more on later oh my gosh that smells so good all of the girl and products has this scent on them so that's the, the girl and oh I shouldn't have pulled it back so I have two more items in here um, and they are both mini sizes. So I have here Hourglass Ambient Powder and um, the Cabral that I wanted to go ahead and try. Well, this Hourglass, let's talk about this one first. I'm just going to put this here. Um, I actually bought this in the store for a regular price, but I used the 50 crowns or the let's see five dollar coupon that they gave me for accumulating lots of points in sephora but i returned it because it was on sale uh, together with the other items when i bought it so of course <laughs> and i get to have my uh, coupon back so i can use that for something else so i get to save with this one and it's just a tiny one like so it's a travel size of the dim light got to tell you it's the lighting powder in dim light there you go so it's just so tiny it's just that's how big it is on the palm of my hand and I wanted to use this really for traveling so it could be my setting powder but it's nice that they put on a mirror over there even though it's so tiny this particular uh, powder is on most of their compacts also so if you wanted to grab their bigger compacts on bigger pan size then you could have that too so yes that's that and we really wanted to try it out so there and then last but definitely not the least is this item from benefit so I get to try their eyebrow Hmm, the one with the Sapuli, with the eyebrow brush. I forgot the name, but um, yeah, this is another one. And it's just a mini size because I really wanted this to be on my uh, travel bag. And I also wanted to do a full face of mini makeups. <laughs> That's also why I, I have this. I really like this packaging though. It says Cabral, and there is like this uh, magician girl in here. Like so. And then it says rich buildable collar over here so that's how it looks on the bare brow soft and natural looking brow or a build drama so you could have this like um a soft natural look or a dramatic more intense look there so it says it's um a cream gel brow collar with blush brush rather with brush yes it's a bit of a cute packaging and it gives us more information in the back how it looks like and how to use it so this says pull out the brush from the cap glide across cream gel and stroke a tiny amount on the brows yes okay so that's that and oh my gosh is this really indeed very very tiny this is just a, a travel product for sure it's gonna fit on my makeup bag so 
I got it this also on the sale just to try it out. This is how it looks. Oh my gosh, this is so tiny. And then the brush is actually on this side. Oh yeah, so it's like so. And then you put that here and then it turns into a brush. So you can just remove this. I, I like this. It's still a decent sized brush. So you apply or you like take a product and then apply into your brows. That's how it is. And I really like this idea because it's very travel friendly. Doesn't have a spoolie brush because of course it doesn't fit anywhere. Um, unless they put it here, but they they did not do that. So but I can't complain more. I like this one and I got the lightest shade. I'm gonna try the other shades too, but first I'm gonna play safe with the lightest shade over here. So that's all for our first of our unboxing. They also gave me a sample of the Sephora Fondant Perfection 10 Hour Wear Perfection Foundation. And yeah, that goes there. There. But, and I have two items over here. Yes. Okay, so I have here the Hi-Fi Shine Ultra Cushion Lip Gloss, which I already bought and I have already unboxed and shared to you on my other video. Um, this one is going to be for my friend. Um, and that will be Candy of MJ's Dresser. So that's for her. And then I bought another one of the Too Faced um, Rich that, or like High Shine Sparkling Lip Gloss. Rich Dazzling. And then this is the one in the shade Social Butterfly, which I'm going to share to you also on a try on video where I put all of the natural face and try it on my face. <laughs> so that's it. But let me go ahead and um, unbox this lip gloss with you guys, um, like so, also. Uh, so it's some um, with. Jordan, hmm, what is her name? She's like a social media influencer. And this is uh, her collab with Too Faced. I like it because it's um, Social Butterfly, but sorry to Jordan. I don't know her yet, but I should yeah check on, on her, yes. So, looks like so. And then, yeah. So she have her signature over here, which makes it um, <laughs> a cute, um, even more cute lip gloss. There you go. And then I really love the sparkles on the Too Faced cap. Of course, you can see the Too Faced logo over here with a heart, Too Faced and embossed in there. But I don't know if the camera could catch this sparkles from the cap it is very very pretty it's also sparkling with micro glitters so on the top we have Too Faced also and yeah it's just a very nice lip color so I'm going to try to compare this with the one that I have which is the pretty penny yes so we are so gonna go ahead and do that. And then I will also share to you um, with the Urban Decay. So I just took mine because the other one, since I'm going to leave that to my friend, I don't want to open it. So she can do her own unboxing and first impressions also. Um, so this is the one that's mine. And this is how it looks inside. So it's an ultra shine cushion lip gloss. I tried this on my video. I'm going to put the link at the end of this one or on the description bar for you to go ahead and check it out because I tried it on my lips. So I'm not going to try this one on this video. Probably going to swatch it, but I'm going to try the Too Faced one. So that's all for this part of the I already made my um, eye makeup. And uh, if you want the tutorial of this eye makeup, maybe I can do it in the future. But for now, I wanted to go ahead and test the foundation. And then, of course, the Cabral from Benefit. I had eyeshadow, I, I mean, I rose earlier, but I removed it. So, if I look at this part, it's because my screen is over here. 
So this is the Le Essential Foundation from Guerlain. Okay. I've already shown you the packaging for this one, but yeah, this is like nat I'm using natural light. I wanted to use natural light on all of my videos. I don't like like the ring light, so you really see how it looks. So yeah, there. And there's the pump. So I am going to try and put one pump and see how far it could go. To tell you honestly, I have tried this one already, but with a little bit of thicker consistency. It's because it's the one that I got from Sephora as a sample. And then um, it was a little too thick, but when I applied it, I really, really like it. So this time, I will apply it straight out of the bottle, and then I would see. And this is like a brand new one, so it's a better consistency. Okay. So I am going to apply a little bit on my face. Okay. I have already put the concealer, so I'm not going to touch this part. Just this one. And I am actually using the Sigma Round Kabuki brush. I like to use this as either this one or the one from Real Techniques. It's the ones that I love to use. Those are my favorites. It has a slight scent to it, which is not really so bad. So that's that. One pump. And then... I think um, this is actually giving me... a... light to medium coverage. So it says it's good for 16 hours. I will not be able to test that or, or do some check-ins, but... I can go ahead and give you an update about this foundation. But when I tried this a few days ago, I really liked it. And it wasn't able to, to put the timer or like um, check how many hours it lasted. But it was really, really good. I actually removed that before I sleep when I was doing my skincare during or like, um, before bedtime. So that's that. I really like it. Oh my gosh. I love it. It's, it's, um, well, I, I don't usually have um, some um, pimple marks or ex excessive, um, what should we call it, big pores or whatever. I have a little bit of like veins showing on this part of my cheeks. Like here, I have a lot. And this one too. And then I have a little bit of pimple over here. So that we will try to cover. I think that this is buildable as you see I'm going to try to put again here on the parts where I have so much veins. And maybe just use my hand like so. And then pat or dab it instead of uh, swiping it. So like so. Hmm, I think that that one pump is good enough for my entire face, actually. Since I do not want a very full coverage. Yeah, I think it's enough for my face. One pump. I like it. And then I'm going to try now the Cabral from Benefit. And then it's this one. So I'm going to need to remove this part. Put it on again. So it will be... And then do like this. And I'm gonna move closer to you. My mirror is just underneath the lens. So I can do like this. It's so tiny, really. It's just really for for traveling. And initially, this is as much product as I got. Okay, and then I try it. I, I love to 
put on the rose from the center so I have this on the lightest shade 01 uh, or one in hmm, what you call it blonde maybe I should have went for a little bit more deeper but nonetheless, because um, what I usually do with my brows is that I put um, a gel-like product or a cream-like product first. But I always top it with a powder. I'm just going to show you how it's going to look just with this one and without a powder. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's really so tiny. See, it takes so much time for me to go ahead and do it as per if you, we are using like a regular eyebrow brush. Could have been faster since we can grab more product. And it doesn't have the eyebrow brush, the spoolie part. So I'm going to try to build it right here and try to make it darker by layering and, and adding more product. Yeah, so that um, is not so bad. I am not super super impressed but it's a good one for traveling so yes that's okay and then now to the good parts I am so excited to go ahead and grab this too so we are going to try the Dior one and the one over here for Guerlain so I think I'm gonna grab the Guerlain first because I saw here um, a shade that I could probably use for contouring and I'm just gonna grab the Real Techniques brush It's a little bit small so I could grab some product over there, but before that Oh my god, this really smells so good. I will try to go ahead and show you some swatch So I'm going over the first two on the top first Okay Oof. I took too much. So there. And then let's put it here. And it's that. Is that a highlight shade? I'm checking if it's a more powder or a highlight, I think. Hmm. And I destroyed that already. Oh my gosh. Should have taken a photo first. Okay, so there. And then I am going to try the other two. I have to remove the ones that are on my hand. Okay. And then this two. I'm going to do it lightly this time. So I don't destroy it. Okay, and then here. Oh, it's barely there. Yeah, that one is a little too light. Even though this is the deepest shade already in number four. So I'm going to try and grab a little product. Try to see if we could contour with this one. I think we can, yeah. And on the other side. It's very light. I wish it could be deeper. So it shows more. And let's see if we could do a nose contour with this one too. Okay, so I'm gonna grab an old brush. Ta da! 
medium angled brush and then I'm just gonna go to the sides because I do not want to ruin the design of it and I want to try if I could contour with this one I think if it's yeah exactly if it's a little bit more deeper brown then it could have been perfect but for somebody who has lighter skin it will show more like a more fairer skin it helps a little bit but it's very subtle well this powder is not really made to be like that it's made to I like how you swirl a brush and then you put the powder all over your face but I'm just trying to do like this if it's possible yeah hmm that works actually i actually like the scent of this one too okay so that works yes and i love to actually go ahead and contour a little bit here and underneath like so okay yeah that works and then i am going to try the blush here i wanted to also try the the blush part of the dior but it's not so much of a blush and it's a lot of shimmer it is a lot a little bit more matte so i'm gonna try this one instead this is the thing about this the small palettes like this or the small compacts like this it's gonna be a little difficult for the brush to go but yeah let's try Mm, I think this is yeah this is the most pigmented one as you see on the hand swatch oh yes oh my gosh yes I like this bro oh my god oof oh wow I love this blush it's so pretty this is really really pretty wow and a little goes a long way it's very pigmented and then I am not gonna use those two because we have I have a, a powder that I am going to use which is the hourglass to set the makeup and then the, um, this part which is supposed to be a highlighter is very very subtle I think this is more of a powder also so I'm just gonna use the one from Dior okay so for Dior oh my gosh I think I'm gonna ruin this stuff then we try to swatch it on the other arm instead okay so i'm gonna try to do it very very carefully okay so <sighs> okay oh my gosh yes so that's the first two Oh wow, that is so pretty. That's very pretty. That that's this too. That's the the white one, and then the one next to it, which is this one, and then the two in the bottom. Oh, let me just clean this hand and then reuse it, or just fingers. Remove the oils. <laughs> so for this too. With the bottom, yes. Okay. Okay. And then we have enough. And then I am going to. And there it is. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh my gosh. They are so pretty. And they swatch really good as well. and then I am going to try to use the bronzer part maybe I grab the large brush and just go in I'm very careful because I do not want to destroy the Dior embossed in there A little bit here. Okay. 
Come down a little bit more over here. And just here too. Yeah. I can see a little bit, not so much. So there you go. And then I am going to try the highlighter shade. Oh my god. Which one? Okay, maybe I go ahead and try the one on the right on this cheek and then one on the left on this cheek. So I need two highlighter brushes. Just gonna grab this one. So grabbing some from the gold part. Do I get some? Okay. I'm not picking up any product. Maybe I should better use my finger. Yeah, there, it's better. And then try to plan it. Yeah, oh my gosh, this is so pretty. It's more of a gold one so that's that I think it's it's nice to also combine this two so I will try to do on the other cheek using the white shade over there or the white illuminator or highlighter oh my god that is so blinding this is super pretty Okay, I'm gonna use another brush, the one from SL Miss Glam. A little bit more on the inner corners. I have already, but I just wanted to put a little bit of this white one. See? Oh, wow. It's so pretty. Then more here. Oh, wow, look at that. Stunning. And dip into this one, which is currently my favorite now. And then do a little bit on the nose. Oh, look at that. Did you see that? Oh my gosh. To the Cupid's bow. Oh, that's stunning. I am really happy I got this one, and it's a very good price, also 20% off. Okay, so I've I'm going with the Hourglass now. So I am borrowing a brush from my Spectrum Collections Siren Brush Set. And I'm going to grab the largest brush over here. In A01. And then the dim light is right here, which is uh, illuminating powder. So I am going to also swatch it for you. It's very, very soft, very nice. It's gonna put it right here and there it is doesn't you, you're not gonna be able to see it so much but it's gonna do a very nice effect on the face okay so I'm going to go and then just slightly dust it all over my face lastly the thing that we will will try but you're not is this one and this is the social butterfly and i'll show you the applicator and it looks like this there you go and then i am going to try to do a swatch maybe i can do it right here so this is social butterfly Let's do another one. Right there. That's Social Butterfly. And then let me grab my other one that I unboxed in a previous video. You will see this um, on the link on the description bar. 
So this is the Pretty Penny from Too Faced. It's a very nice, um, more leaning to the gold side, copperish goldish side. So it looks like so. And two. So it's like that. As you see, this is more pitchy, the social butterfly, and more coppery golden for the pretty penny. And there it is. Yes. So our look is complete. I think it kind of suits my uh, my makeup also with this social butterfly lip gloss since I have like a pinky pinky eyes over here with lots of glitter and then we have this uh, peachy glittery lips and yeah oh my gosh I really really like the uh, what should I call it the blush part of this one from Girland that one the this Bronzer part, contour part is not so much. It's just too subtle. Maybe for somebody who has a fairer skin, that will be better. And then for the Dior, we're not able to try the pink one. But you can put it on top of your blush. Well, maybe we could tr go ahead and try anyway. But I already dust my face with the hourglass. So. But yeah, let's see. Now I am so shiny and glittery, as you see. It has a little bit of pigment also. So, and it's more pink now than it was earlier. A little bit more coral. So when you put the Dior, then it's more pinkish. And that's all. I know that this is going to be a very long video. I apologize for that. But I hope that you like this video as much as I enjoyed sharing all of these items to you guys. Oh. Thank you so much for joining me in this video, everybody. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And um, if you have these items, also if you have recommendations, suggestions, anything you would like to say, put it on the comment section down below. Let's continue the conversation down there. Thanks so much. Yes, it's a long video, but I hope you like it. And remember, guys, to stay fierce and fly high. See you on my next video.